Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we learnt about the unary and the decimal number systems. In this session, we will be introduced to another important number system, the binary number system. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, we will understand the binary number system in details. When we talk about electrical machines, specifically the computers, these only understand either the presence of the electricity or the absence of it. The absence or off is denoted by zero and the presence of the electricity that is on is denoted by one. This is actually the basis of binary number system. Here, the symbols that we use are zero and one. So, the number of symbols in this particular number system is two which in other words is the base. This happens to be the reason why this number system is called the binary number system. Let's now observe how the subsequent numbers are formed using these symbols. So, at first, we have the symbols 0 and 1. Now, notice in the least significant binary digits or LSB's place, we have used up all the available symbols that we had. So, like decimal number system, here also we will select the second symbol in line, that is 1, and place it to the next bit's place. Simultaneously, we will reset the least significant bit's place back to 0. Following the progress, the next number will be 1, 1, because in the least significant bit's place, the bits are supposed to get changed in every subsequent number. Now observe, we again have exhausted the LSB's place and the bit place before that with the symbols that bear the biggest magnitude in this number system that is ones. Following the same procedure, we will again select the symbol 1 and place it to the next place and at the same time, we will reset these two places back to zeros. Now for the next number, the most significant two bits will remain the same. Because as of this point, we are yet to exhaust the LSB's place with the symbol with the biggest magnitude, that is 1. And now, we just exhausted the LSB's place. So now, in the next number, the symbol of this place will be changed. So the MSB is gonna remain the same, and this place will have the symbol 1, and the LSB, that is the least significant bit's place, will be reset to 0. Now, in case of the next number, the most significant two bits will remain the same and the bit of the LSB's place will be set to 1. With this, we again have exhausted all these three places. So, naturally for the next number, we will place 1 in the new bit's place and the remaining bits will be reset to zeros. Observe what happened. When the bit in the LSB's place changes from 0 to 1, the remaining bits are the same, like in this, this, this and this case. Here, in both the numbers, the symbols are 1, 1. Here it is 1, 0, here it is 1 and here it's got nothing. However, when the least significant bit changes from 1 to 0, we can clearly observe the changes. Like in this case, we got a new place. Simultaneously, in this case, we discovered another most significant bit. In this particular case, although we don't get a new MSB, the next bit place gets changed from 0 to 1. Also in here, we acquire a new MSB. So to summarize, whenever the bit in the LSB gets changed from 1 to 0, we have to observe the next bits toward the MSB. If that is a 0, it will just get changed to 1. Else, if it is a 1, it will change to 0 and again we will have to consider the next bit towards the MSB. Now, let me show you all a pattern which will help us determine the place values of each bit's place. Let me fill up all the left portions of every 3, 2 and 1 bit numbers with zeros. Well, this won't make any changes. Now, observe the least significant bit's place. Here, every bit gets changed with every other number. So, this place holds the place value 1. Coming to the next bit's place, observe, here the bits get changed in the interval of 2. Due to this, it holds the place value 2. 
In case of the next one, notice carefully, here the bits get changed in the interval of 4. Basically, first there are 4 zeros, then there are 4 ones, then there will again be 4 zeros and so on. Therefore, the value of this bit's place is 4. Now, for the MSB, there are 8 zeros at first. So, evidently, the next 8 will be once only. So, here, the MSB has the place value as 8. Let's now understand these place values in a bit more details. So, 1 is actually 2 raised to the power 0, and 2 is 2 raised to the power 1. Then 4 is actually 2 squared and 8 is nothing but 2 cubed. Now, coming to the general representation, consider a 5-bit binary number. Now, in all these places, we can either place 0 or 1. Now, being a binary number, it will have the base as 2 and therefore, the place values will be 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed, till 2 raised to the power 4. Because although it's a 5-bit number, the place value of the LSB began from 2 raised to the power 0. So, for the MSB, the place value will have one less in the exponent than the place's number. So, this is basically the logic and the representation procedure of binary number system. So, in this session, we learnt about the binary number system in details. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next sessions, we will observe a couple of more interesting number systems. So, I hope to see you in the next ones. Thank you all for watching.